Yes. Uh, today we will have uh, to cover the titration uh, reaction. And as uh, you did uh, this, uh, we'll go over the calculations of this titration. And I have one of the, your group uh, data. And we will see how they have uh, worked their, their titration uh, experiment. So they found the first uh, titration to be 13.8 uh, ml. And the second titration is a little bit larger than the first one, is 24.5 ml. So now I have to add those, those volumes together and then divide them by, by two. So I need to, to get the average of the milliliter. The uh, theoretical value for the uh, mass over the volume percentage of, of uh, vinegar, acetic acid, is 5%. And the molarity of sodium hydroxide is 0.1363 uh, molar, more per liter. And we will do the calculations together. And let's look at this. Um, first, we have to take the average of the, of the uh, sodium hydroxide the volume in liters. So we have the average here. And then we convert the average into uh, a liter, for milliliter into liter. And it's come to be 0.0171 liter. Then we have to get the moles of sodium hydroxide. Uh, the moles of sodium hydroxide is the molarity of sodium hydroxide multiplied by its volumes in liter. Liter with liter will cancel out. And then we have 0.00233 moles of sodium hydroxide. Now, looking at this here, you will see that uh, this is one to more, one to more, one to one more ratio of the acid with the base. So I have sodium uh, acetate with sodium hydroxide, we have sodium I mean, acetic acid with sodium hydroxide gives sodium acetate and H2O. One to one more ratio means moles of sodium hydroxide has to equal moles of acetic acid. Therefore, moles of uh, acetic acid is 0 0.00233 moles. Now, we have to convert this one here into grams. That will be in the next uh, step here. We need the molar mass. The molar mass of acetic acid, CH3COOH, we have two carbons, two oxygen, and four hydrogens. And you put all those atomic uh, masses of each, uh, of each uh, element, and we can come up with molar mass of acetic acid to be 60.0 gram per mole. So if you have the molar mass and you have number of moles, you just multiply the moles by the molar mass in, in order to get the grams. And this is 0 0.140 grams uh, are available to, for this titration, correct? So furthermore, we have to calculate mass over the volume percentage. We have the grams, 0 0.140 grams, and we use 2.00 mls, 2 mls, multiplied by 100, came out to be 7 percentage, correct? Now we have to look at, at, the, um, at the molarity of acetic acid. The molarity of acetic acid will be moles of acetic acid divided by the liter of the solution. So we use 2 mls of the solution. This is 0 0.002 liters, converted into liters, the milliliters. And then the moles of sodium hydroxide from the previous one is 0 0.00233 moles and it came up to be 1.165 molar. Now, let's calculate the last thing is error. See how good we did in our calculation. And you can see that we theoretically we take absolute value, theoretical value, which is 5.0 here, minus the value divided by theoretical value. It comes out to be minus two, because five minus seven is minus two, divided by five, take absolute value, multiply 100 came out to be 40 percent. This is too significant figure, of course, because everything is too significant here. This is very high. And the best, look at the best uh, results here. 0 0.5, 0 0.5 percent is, ex 0 to 5 is excellent. Greater than 5 to 10, very good. 10 to 15, good. Greater than 15 percent is not good data. So let's ask ourselves, where, why is this is high, this is, uh, this is very high percentage of error. Forty percent is very large. So this is because then we have to get the sources of error, and those are our sources of errors. So our source of errors: reading the burette was not correct, pipetting was not uh, not that precise, and then there's a lot of possibilities. Most most of that 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 group of the students 
with their 40% error over, overshot the endpoint. So how we know this? By the, looking at the very dark pink color of the solution. Thank you very much and that will conclude the whole calculation of the titration experiment.